little skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome to my kitchen, yay. <laughs> uh, this is where I'm filming right now because hubby is currently using my room to play video games with Harley Baby's hubby, so I just figured I'd take over the kitchen. So today we are reviewing the, um, uh, it's not a silly symphony, but we are reviewing uh, the short Ye Olden Days. So let's get into it. IMDB rating 6.6 out of 10 stars. Runtime, 8 minutes. Plot summary 1. The king locks up his daughter Minnie when she refuses to wed a dippy prince. Mickey Mouse, a wandering minstrel, comes to the rescue. Plot summary 2. The princess Minnie is to wed the prince, Goofy, still known as Dippy Dog, against her wishes. When she refuses, her father the king locks her in the tower. Minstrel Mickey sees her and rescues her, making a rope from the clothes of lady-in-waiting Clarabelle. The king spots them and prepares to chop off Mickey's head until Minnie intercedes. The king calls for a joust. Mickey wins and they live happily ever after. Plot summary 3. In the ye, old, ye olden days, ye old king has arranged a marriage between his daughter, ye princess Minnie Mouse, and ye prince, who is little more than a dippy hayseed. Minnie refuses to marry this goofball. The infuriated king declares that she's a fanatic and, because everyone speaks in verse, locks her in, her, it locks her in the attic. Enter Mickey Mouse, ye wandering minstrel. He helps her escape, but the king spots them in their attic of treason and calls the guard to capture them. Off with his head, the king cries. The princess saves her lover boy by begging her father to let him and the prince duel for her maiden hand. The king agrees, giving Mickey and Minnie their chance at a happy ending. So I gave this a 7 out of 10 skulls, and... It, okay, so it's not like I didn't like it because it was actually super cute and it was definitely refreshing, you know, coming off of the um, the Silly Symphonies. But let me just kind of give you my reasons why I gave it maybe a 7 out of 10 um, as the rating. So um, it was my first time seeing classic characters head, in, head intro cards. So like, you know how like in the shorts there's always like the intro card and it's like the main character's head and it kind of does like that cool music. So that's what it did for this one. Ye old King has no name. It's, it's like, um, you know, Mickey and Minnie have their names. Like, in the end, it's, okay, so what it is, it's like when the credits start playing, there's this scroll, okay? And it tells you who plays what character. Well, when it says, Ye old King, at the bottom, there's no name there. It's, like, it's covered by the, the scroll, which I thought was really interesting. Not a silly symphony, but still some singing, which is okay. I mean, like, you know, talking in verse or singing, you know, it's all... It's all Disney, you know, and that's that's the point of it. Disney does their singing. Disney does, you know, what they do best, and it's it's songs, which is fine, you know, silly symphony or not, whatever. Um, it's nice to hear Walt Disney as Mickey Mouse for a change, because you know he was the original voice of Mickey, and it was really cool hearing his Mickey Mouse, you know, versus the Mickey Mouse's that I'm used to in like other shorts. A busted guitar. That was a line. It was like um, I ride my way, or like, it's something like that, and it says, and he says a busted guitar. It didn't look like one. It, I think it's a lute, not a guitar, and two, it's not busted. It it looks fine. <laughs> so if it's busted, make it look busted. You know what I mean? Okay. So the place that Goofy's character is from, I shit you not, is called Poopa Padu. I'm just gonna let that one sink in. Poopa Padu. The animation looks better. I can definitely see an improvement with the animation as with each short I watch, which is actually really nice because then I can see the growth of how Disney is in from when they started versus um, how they are now. Okay, so he, seeing and hearing Goofy's laugh for the first time, it's definitely different because I know that chortle that he does, um, I think was created later in a like one of those like silly um, how-to Goofy shorts. So it was kind of cool just hearing a, a really different laugh than what I'm used to. Clarabelle was such a goddess in this freaking short because after Minnie disses Goofy and like, I don't want to marry him, Clarabelle just kind of turns around and she's like, Pfft. like, screw you, King. I thought that was awesome. But I'm wondering why lock, lock up Clarabelle too? I mean, she, yeah, she kind of gave the King lip. But, I mean, it's Minnie who doesn't want to marry Goofy, so why lock up Clarabelle? I mean, I guess because she's Minnie's lady-in-waiting, I guess that would make sense, but... And she also sounded like a dude when she spoke. And I know for a fact Clarabelle's a, a girl, so... Don't know what happened there. <laughs> okay, so Mickey ends up climbing up this tree, okay? 
and when he gets to Minnie's attic, he's like bouncing on this branch. But it's not a branch so much as it is a stick. It looks like a stick. Like, how is that thing holding him up? Unless Mickey weighs like 0.2 pounds, there is no way that branch is holding him up. I'm just saying. So, regardless of um, Minnie getting married to Goofy or not, the king actually still ate the wedding feast, which, I mean, hey, wedding or no wedding, if you're hungry, eat, because I know what it's like to be hangry. I was hangry the other night, so it's not pretty. <laughs> Dipping chicken into beer. I have never seen that. The king literally took a huge thing of beer, took some chicken, and just went thunk like it's a cookie and milk. And I was like, is that actually good? <laughs> or is that just some weird shit that I had never seen before? So, Mick, Goofy and Mickey duel, but not the king. That doesn't make sense to me. Because if the king is the one that's pissed, and he's the one that's saying, oh, you know, uh, Minnie needs to marry Goofy, you know, I get why Goofy and Mickey need to joust, but the king was the one who was pissed. So why not have the king go up against Mickey and say, if I win, you do as I say. If he wins, you can marry him. I mean, to me, that would just make more sense, but Mickey looks adorable. So they have Goofy getting ready in, like, this, you know, typical suit of armor, and then they have Mickey dressing up in, like, a, um, a pot, you know, like a little bag. Of, oh, my God, it was so adorable because, of course, he can't afford to look like a real knight, but with the stuff that he got, oh, my God, he looked so adorable. Okay, so I'm going to have to read you this note I wrote. Just, just bear with me. The king was pissed at Minnie, not marrying Goofy. Then he's pissed and wants to kill Mickey, but now that Mickey won, he's happy. Maybe he was just hangry. So basically, you know, Mickey won the joust. But if the king was pissed at Minnie for not marrying Goofy, and then Mickey for kidnapping Minnie to save her, why be happy at the end when Mickey wins? You figured the king would at least look somewhat defeated and be like, Oh, I wanted you to marry this guy, not that guy. You know, it, it just didn't make sense to me. But overall, the short was really cute. I did like it. Um, obviously, you know, not as much stuff like some others. But it was still a really good short. And I recommend you guys watch it if you have Disney+. Plus, or if you can try and find it on YouTube, I highly recommend that too. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.